Hank Muse and, and I were on the board. We served on the board together. The two of us would go out and do some fundraising together. We'd go and talk to potential donors. And I really enjoyed working with Hank. You know, he's from out east and he was always a lot of fun. My first exposure to the hospital really was my wife because she, uh, she uh, volunteered there for over 25 years. And so I knew she was involved. And uh, I donated some money, I presume. And then I, then I was uh, on the foundation board and subsequently chaired that. And uh, then I was on the hospital board and I was vice chair. You know, we have a health system that uh, is a provincial health system. It's not a national health system. But you have to remember that uh, government don't do everything. They, they pay maybe, I think, close to 90% of all construction. That leaves many millions of dollars we have to raise. There's a constant need of renewal of things within the hospital, let alone new equipment, but the old equipment must be replaced. So, so the, uh, the foundation is constantly working to to do that. While I've been with the Foundation, Hank has continued to be a, a supporter. Most recently, the Muse family uh, stepped up and took a, an extraordinary leadership role in creating the lead gift to support the acute care for the elderly unit. They smartly showed us what seniors are faced with now, and the unit is totally inadequate. And then we went upstairs and looked at uh, the uh, acute care for the elderly plans and it was just very evident to me that this is something we needed uh, above and beyond anything else in this area and uh, so I encouraged the guys to, to give and they, they agreed and did. I know that Hank and Phyllis both are very modest people. This whole process uh, of taking credit uh, or of being honored is, uh, is not something that they're comfortable with, you know, because they, they believe that it's their responsibility to do it and, and, and that since they can, they should. I'm exposed time and time again to people who have touched that Queensway and have been in there and I have a sister-in-law who has a very, very sick young, uh, young man. Over the years, it's, he's had to come into that hospital and time and time again, and they've received such wonderful treatment. And the nurses have been so kind and the doctors so kind to them that they just rave about it. So I think there's something going on in there that is very good and probably is not duplicated in all institutions. And I, I think when we say it's a, a great place to, with well-committed and nice people, I don't think we're exaggerating. I think it's true. People sometimes forget that whether they give a dollar or a million dollars, it really doesn't matter. It's participating and doing it on an ongoing basis to keep the hospital alive.